Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today I'm going to show you how to create a frame in HTML web page. So what we have to do, I will show you first that how HTML frame works in a web page. For example, if you visit my site findsourcecode.com, then you can see there are lots of uh, horizontal menu in my website. When you click a horizontal menu, for example, Fortran, I'm clicking Fortran. Okay, you can see that uh, all the contents of Fortran is visible, but you may notice that the header, the sidebar, and all the other things are not changing. Only the content is changing. For example, if you click HTML, you can see only the content of HTML is just changing. Only the middle content is changing. Wh why this is appearing? Because this is appearing because um, I create a frame in HTML and I put all the data or you can say all the links in my frame and in this way I I am creating my website so I'll show you today how to create a frame in HTML at first we are going to our previous folder so what I will do frame.html I write it just before starting my video edit with notepad plus plus now I will explain the code and by writing it so I am deleting the code so before going to create a frame what you have to do you have to write I frame you have to put a name of your frame for example I am giving it source and after that what you have to do you have to write src for search it will search page one dot html so what does the function of search actually it will be the default page in your frame for example in my website my default page is main dot html where all the source code is available it is the default page i'll explain it later so with i'm going to give it 600 height is equal to okay 300 so this is all about my frame then what I have to do I have to write slash iframe to finish it so I have to put some links like in my site I have to I am I put for example C home C++ Fortran so now I'm going to explain this page is main.html and this is the default page when my page when my website load then you can see this default page main.html so this is what I write here page one.html so this page one.html will be the default page in my frame so I am going to put some link here now a h r e f I'm going to put my first link as http my website link www.findsourcecode.com slash html html home dot htm here you can find all the tutorials video tutorials of html so this page will target my frame what is the name of my frame I have told you earlier I wrote earlier source and I'm going to give a name to my link so I'm giving this HTML tutorial so this is my first link and after that I'm going to write another link as href test dot HTML this is another page and this also target my frame whose name is source so test I'm going to give it as test so this is all about if you want to put 20 page in your frame then you have to write 20 times ahref and the links of those page so I want to show the links in the top so I am cut cutting this and put it upper portion paste 
So now Control S with Control S to save the document. Yes. So what I have to do? Where is my folder? Yes. So now go to frame.html, and you can see HTML. This is the default page. This is my new page. It's a default page showing. And when you click HTML tutorial, then you can see all the information of HTML tutorial is available. When you click test, then you can see the content of test is available. When you click HTML tutorial, HTML content is available. In this way, you can create a frame in HTML and show the, all the data inside the frame. So I want to put these two links in the upper position why it looks like this. Now, if I use bar br, I think it will be solved. Use a br, control s, it will break the line. Refresh the browser, and you can see HTML tutorial and test in this upper portion. So it is very close. So I am using another br, control s, refresh the browser, and you can see now it is looking very good. When you click HTML tutorial, the content of HTML tutorial is visible when you click test and you can see the content of test is visible so in this way you can create frame in HTML web page thank you for today